to our BC Boom channel. We are so excited that you can continue to join us today as we continue learning about Canvas, made to create. This lesson series has been focused on how creativity allows us to do different things and how it creates different gifts within us. Today, we're gonna to continue to talk about creativity and we're talking about the Israelites now that they're free and now they have an opportunity to be able to create a tabernacle to worship God in the middle of the desert and about some special people who were set aside to be able to do that. They all had different gifts. There were some that were able to be create and, and build and design. And then there's others who were created to be able to serve. We are gonna learn all about our different creative ways that we can use our gifts to serve God and to serve and help other people. I want you to stay tuned because this is an amazing lesson you do not want to be want to miss. I'll be back. Hey, welcome to Story Lab. Uh, one sec. Uh, this week we're talking about creativity. Uh, one sec. Uh, plus, we'll learn about a creative project thousands years old that people are still talking about. Let's go. Hey, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. And today we're talking about creativity. Which is using your imagination to do something new. Uh, Zeke? Yeah? What's with all the yarn? Oh, it's not yarn, it's lasers. Sure looks like yarn. Well, it is, but it's way more fun to say lasers. So what's up with the lasers? Sorry. What's up with the laser? Well, you have your end of the summer party coming up. Yeah. So I thought this would be a creative way to decorate. Ah, well, it is creative. Success. But also a little messy. Oh. Do you have any other creative decoration ideas? I'm so glad you asked. Yes, I do. We just need scissors. Here we go. All right. Oh, they're ah. everywhere. Oh, watch out. Yep. <laughs> Did you make it? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm surrounded. Well, try to get out. Watch out. Oh, oh, oh. Go under? <laughs> okay. Scissors. Let's make it. Get all no, of no, the lasers. No. That one's mine, that one's mine, that was mine. No, this one's mine down here, I got this one. <laughs> okay. Let's oh, back here. <sighs> That's it. Um, Zeke, what exactly are we making? Well, it requires balloons. Check. A bowl of glue. Check. And a bunch of pieces of yarn or string, roughly three to four feet long. Check. Check. Make sure you're working where it's okay to get a little messy because, uh, well, you'll see. Oh boy. So first, blow up the balloons. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that size works great. Good, because I'm out of breath. Next, place your yarn or string into a bowl right here and pour in the glue. Now it helps to mix in a little bit of water into the glue first. Make sure it's wet, but not super duper drippy. Okay, hold this. All right, here we go. Would you mind doing mine? Yes, sir. There we go. Now the fun part, wrapping your balloon. Where in the world is this going? Now you can use all the same color yarn or mix it up with different colors, but make sure you cover the balloon really well. The glue kind of helps it stick to the balloon to make it a little bit easier. Oh, this is fun. And just keep wrapping until you're content with it or it covers the whole balloon. See, are you seeing this? <laughs> I'll wait till it dries. Alrighty. Now keep in mind the glue should help it stick to the outside of the balloon. 
It's so slimy. Yeah. Now, when you're done, just hang up your balloon to let the glue dry. And then? And then comes the really, really cool part. Once your, all your gluey yarn is dry, pop the balloon. Whoa! Then remove it. And now you've got a really creative decoration. These will look awesome for my party. Speaking of creative and awesome, it's time for the story before the story. Today, we're in the second book of the Bible. Exodus tells of God's faithfulness to his people. In the very beginning, out of a deep, deep love, God made an amazing world. But when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God had a plan to restore people to relationship by demonstrating love to the whole world through one family, the Israelites. But the Israelites had been enslaved in Egypt for hundreds of years. The people cried out for help and God sent Moses to lead them out of Egypt to freedom in the desert. There, God led them in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Greetings citizens, Brian here. God had led the Israelites to freedom but now they found themselves in the desert, a place very famous for having no Starbucks or McDonald's or any food or drink of any kind. Yet God provided both water and food. But God wanted to do more than that. He wanted to live among them. So God called Moses to come up to the top of Mount Sinai. There God gave Moses many instructions, including the plans for building a tabernacle. Now, yeah, that's a funny word, tabernacle. It was a tent, but not like the kind of tent you just pop up in the backyard. This tent God told Moses to build would be beautiful and highly decorated. A holy tent, a place where God would dwell. Let's see, um, curtains, lampstand, bowls, altars, incense, robes. God's instructions for the tabernacle were very specific because every detail mattered. Moses gave the people this amazing news about the tabernacle. But while everyone would have a chance to help, God knew that it would take somebody really special to lead the work. We need a skilled craftsman to head up the whole project. <clears throat> Bezalel, son of Yuri. Up uh, over here. God has chosen you to lead everyone crafting the holy tent. Who, me? God has filled you with his spirit, with wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and all kinds of skill. God had given Bezalel an amazing ability to make beautiful patterns in precious metals, to cut and set gemstones and to work with wood. But God knew Bezalel would need help. Aholiab, God has also chosen you and given you special skill in all kinds of crafts. And to top it off, God has given both of you the ability to teach others everything you know. We are so on it. Then God chose Moses' brother Aaron and his family to serve as priests. And the rest of the people were so excited to help that they gave whatever they had for the building of the holy tent. Gold, silver, bronze, yarn, leather, wood. The people gladly brought it to Bezalel and Aholiab. Arva, we get, get to help! help. Hey, help. Yeah. help. We're, doing, we're doing it a pickaxe! At last, every robe had been stitched, every lampstand molded, and every post carved. The tabernacle was finished. You have done the work just as God commanded. May God bless you all. When everything was finally in place and the priests were ready, a cloud covered the tent, and the glory of God filled it for everyone to see. The end. Hmm. You know, creativity sure looks different for everyone. And like, hard work too. You got that right. In fact, it probably took around nine months to construct the tabernacle from start to finish. But God provided everything they needed. Hey, you're right. It's like God invited the Israelites to partner with him. Bingo. So what's our part in the story? Well, creativity is using your imagination to do something new, right? And sometimes that something new isn't just a craft project, sometimes your work of art is simply serving others. 
like making a card for someone who's sick or cleaning up your room without being asked or or like the way Zeke used his imagination to create decorations for my party. Yeah, but I kind of messed that up, didn't I? The whole lasers thing. You didn't mess anything up, Zeke. You just found a better way. He's right. Using your imagination to love God and love others better is one of the best things you can do. Because that's when a work of art becomes a work of the heart. Huh? Huh? Not bad, partner. The tabernacle truly was an amazing work of art and heart, where the Israelites would worship God. Later, they would gather to worship God in a temple. Even Jesus came there. Now we can gather to worship God in a church, but through the Holy Spirit, Jesus is always with us no matter where we are. So we can use our creativity to worship God anywhere. I think you've got it. See you next time. So, here's the thing. Use your imagination to honor God. You know, I'm glad you changed your mind about the lasers. I think you mean laser. Yeah, laser. 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 Thanks for joining us in the oh, story, story lab. Show that, see, see, see you next time. time. Oh, oh, oh there are so everywhere. Many. Oh, this was a bad idea. They're a very, very bad idea. Uh, watch out, watch out. Uh, are you ready? I'm singing now. One, two, three, let's go. I was made to do amazing things. I know, I know.
Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. Yeah, but this won't be the only show we're on soon. <laughs> That's right, you caught us at the perfect time. We're actually about to record our audition for the hottest new reality competition show. Yeah, we have to take furniture that most people have around their homes and build them into an incredible couch slash pillow slash blanket fort. That's right, we're auditioning for Fortnite. Fortnite. Ah, what a catchy name. Yeah, to get on the show, we have to present to them what we can do with what we have. So uh, I brought some stuff from my house. And I brought some stuff from my apartment. And we're about to craft the most magnificent couch cushion fort you've ever seen. But first, whew, we have to record the interview yeah, yeah, portion yeah. of the audition tape. Yeah. So, Because it's not just about what you can do, it's about what you do with what you can do. Okay. You ready? I think so. How okay. does my breath smell? Oh man, it's not bad, but why your breath doesn't have anything to do with video. I know, but it's it's just a confidence issue, you know. Smell good, perform good, it's very common saying. Okay, fair enough. Here we go. Right? right? Okay. Are you in the shot? Yeah, I think so. Okay, here we go. Hello, judges from Fortnite. I'm John. Cut. I'm nervous. It's, Sorry. You do a show once a week. I know. Just calm down. I know. Take I take said a breath. I'm in. Out. <sighs> okay. Okay. Here we Sorry, go. Sorry, now remember, you're Brandon. I, yes, I know. Okay. No, you don't have to. Okay. So. Okay. Hello, judges of Fortnite. My name is Brandon. Yes, and I'm John, and we're really excited to be auditioning for your show. Yes, we, we today, we will be using cushions. And, uh, and other things, blankets, and various pillows, and chairs. Yeah, we've been building forts for years now. Yes, and if we win, we're going to use the money that we win to buy season passes to the Silver Spurs Dude Ranch. Yes, they have pony rides every single day. So. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. So, let's get ready to fort. fort! Okay, I'm just gonna set this down, All right? Okay, set this down right here, all right. Okay, great, great, I just wanna show them what we're working with. Are you sure we haven't bitten off more than we can chew? Absolutely not. You know, we just have to be creative. That's the thing about building a fort. You use all the pillows and all the, the whatnot to build a fort fit for a king. It'll be easy. Okay. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so when I said this would be easy, yeah. I don't think. Oh! Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, you I got, got it? it. Got, got it, got it. Oh, don't got it! <laughs> no. no, we can't do this. We can't give up. Okay. How you doing over there? It's looking good. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Yes. 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 Yeah, baby. Woo! Whoa. All right, I'm good in here. How you doing? Almost, almost. Whew. Huh. We, we did, did it! it! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fort! Yeah! This is awesome! Oh, it's Bible story time with Kellen! Hey guys! Whoa! Awesome fort! Right. Thanks, Kellen. That prize money is practically spent. Ka ching Plus, we'll be world famous. I mean, more famous than we are now. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll win for sure. Way to go, fellas. So, you got a Bible story for us or something? Um, I do. And, you know, it's not exactly like this, but it is about building. Oh, looks like I might have some help. John Slightly here for Ancient News, where we only cover the oldest news possible. Later, Albert Einstein and his theory of relativity. Which reminds me, I need to call my cousin later. But first, a new construction project is happening. 
And Ancient News has an exclusive interview with the person who's heading it up. We go now to the scene with Moses. Moses, can you hear me? I, I can, but I don't know exactly how this is working. Uh, where do I look? Here? Here. Uh, can we talk about your construction project? Oh, yes, I... It's here, isn't it? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your construction project? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the Lord wants us, the people of Israel, to build a holy tent. Oh. It's called the tabernacle. Ah, a holy tent. And for what reason? Oh, so that God can live among us. Could there be any greater joy? Huh. And are, are you designing the tent? Oh, no, no, no. And God has a lot of specifics. Showed me a pattern and everything. Wow. And who would be working on this project? Well, first, God asked my brother, Aaron, and his sons to be priests. Uh, then Bezalel from the tribe of Judah. God has filled him with all kinds of skills. And really, well, everyone will be pitching in. <laughs> wow. That's an incredible story, Moses. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, this way? No, uh, this way. And back to you, Kellen. So God told the Israelites to start building this tent, right? This tabernacle. And God made sure that everyone had a purpose, even giving new skills to some people, letting them use their creativity to... Oh, well, never mind. Breaking ancient news, everyone. How can something be both breaking and ancient? Break dancing, Kellen. Both breaking and ancient. Fair enough. But first, more info on God's holy tent construction. We have one of the major forces behind the project, Bazalel. Bezalel Don slightly ancient news. Hi. So, we've heard the Lord has blessed you with skills. What sort of skills? Well, I can make patterns in gold, silver, and bronze. And I, I can cut and set stones, and I can work with wood. But it's not just me. All the other workers have been really busy putting together everything. Wow. And can you describe the things that you've been working on? Oh, oh. I can do better than that. I'll show you. This is the ark where the tablet of the covenant law are kept. Here's the table for holy bread and its things. The lampstand, that's pure gold by the way. <laughs> the altar for burnt offerings. Oh, also check this out. The sacred clothes for the priests. God has given talent to a lot of seamstresses in our group. <laughs> mm -hmm. He sure has. So it seems like everyone is using their talent to build this tabernacle. Oh, yes. God gave some of us the talent for building and creating things. Some of us are good at teaching other people how to learn new skills. And a lot of people have been really generous, donating the supplies we need to make everything the way God wants it. Mm. It seems like exhausting work. I mean, it can be tiring, but it's also incredible. God gives us these skills to use, right? We just want to use them to give back, you know, to honor God. Actually, if you don't mind, I need to get back to it. A lot of work to still be done. Of course. Thank you for joining us, Bezel L. Well, there you have it. A massive project, but God has given the people the talent to complete it. Next up on Ancient News, millions of digipets have been left unfed. And they're hungry. Back to you, Kellen. God has given all of us gifts. For some, it's the ability to create something new. For some, it's the ability to make people laugh. For others, it's the ability to figure out a problem in a way no one else can. But whatever gifts God has given you, it's important for you to use them. 
but not just for yourself. God deserves our honor, and we can use the imaginations and creativity we've all been given to honor God. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. He's totally right, you know. About using our talents to honor God? Yeah. How can we do that? Well, what if we win Fortnite, and instead of going to a dude ranch, we donate our winnings to a charity? I mean, we're just doing it for fun. We don't need that money like someone else might. Buddy, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> that is a creative way to honor God. Yeah, what are some other ways? I don't know. Reveal the question. Mm. Uh, the question of the day is, what are creative ways to honor God? Yeah. Well, building a pillow fort can honor God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can honor God by loving other people, too. You can write a story to cheer someone up or, or sing them a song. Yeah, as many skills as there are in the world, there is a way to honor God with that skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have another skill I'd like to try out. What's that? Well, what's the best part of building a couch fort? It's building it. And what's the second best part? Destroying it. Yeah, let's go! Until next week, I am Brandon. And I'm John. And this was the So-and-So Show. See ya! Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Wasn't that an amazing lesson? In the lesson, we learned about the two that were set aside to be able to design and create, to build, to carve all of the wonderful vessels and the things that were gonna be utilized inside the temple. And they designed what it would look like outside and inside. And then we also learned about Aaron and his family, how they were set aside to be able to serve in God's temple. Everyone had a purpose and a place and they were able to use their creativity, their gift to be able to contribute to the building of the tabernacle or the service inside of the tabernacle. So what is this lesson teaching us? What's our part in knowing about how we can use creativity? Well, we have all been created, first of all, in God's image. And he gives us different gifts and different ways that we can use our creativity. It doesn't always mean that it's something, that, a project that we have to do or something that we have to build or something that we have to fix we can use our creativity to draw others to Christ. Like it might just take inviting somebody to join you at church, inviting somebody to join you at youth service or youth church, or helping somebody do a job. Maybe they're trying to break their yard and you decide to go help them to break their yard to get it done quicker. Or somebody might be trying to study and you design and create a, a, a very good way for them to be able to learn a lesson so that they can remember it for a test. Creativity comes in so many different forms. It's not always creating a project and doing things like that, but it's about using the talents that God has given you to be able to do things, not just for yourself, but also for others. We have a unique opportunity to be creative in so many different ways. And it's just about discovering what that creativity is within you, and then using it the right way. I hope that you have taken great example from this series and that you've been able to understand that we were all made for something special and made to do something special. You are a wonderfully talented individual and I pray that you will come to know what your many talents of creativity are and that you would use them in a masterful way to be able to do some great things. I hope you all have just really enjoyed this lesson as much as I did. Before you go, let's pray. Lord, we just want to say thank you, God, for showing us who you are in our lives. God, we thank you for allowing us to explore and to learn all about our creativity in different ways, God, that we can use our creativity for your service and for you and to help others. God, we thank you for allowing us to use this creativity that would allow us to build a, a relationship with you, God. You are asking us to join in you in creating things that will honor you, God, that will give you glory. Lord, we just thank you for your many blessings and your many gifts that you continue to 
but upon us, God. We ask that you bless us in your mighty name. Draw others unto you, God. Anyone that's seeking you that may not know you, that may not have discovered the gift that they have within them, oh God. We ask that you help to open up their understanding and draw them to your house, Lord God, to help them be able to learn more about you. God, we ever mouth to give your name, glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I want you to continue to be able to join us, and you can do that in two different ways. You can continue to join us on Sundays as we share these wonderful lessons with you via our YouTube channel under the Bethesda Cathedral page, or you can join us on Instagram at BC underscore boom and follow along in regards to some of the different things that our youth are doing every week or every month. We thank you. We appreciate you so much. And we want you to take care. We are always here for you if you need anything. All right. Until next week. See you later. Bye.